Do you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency? Join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. everybody doing today i am your host rich here on behalf of rich tv live and i'm here with my very special guest ronnie jaggerman a director of waterways technologies how are you doing today ronnie great and good morning vancouver it's um late afternoon here in israel rich thank you very much for uh, interviewing i really appreciate the opportunity um you know and the ball is yours Fantastic. Well, I'm excited to learn more about your company. And when I started doing a little bit of research, I right away felt like your company was undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And we're going to get right into why. So Waterways has revenues, uh, had revenues last year at around 12 million, which right there tells me because you're at 15 cents that you're already undervalued and received over 10 million in orders in Q1, giving it a run rate of $40 million in 2021. Is Waterways likely to maintain the momentum going forward? Yes, we are, we're having a very good year. Um, you can see our results for the first quarter, uh, which were sales of 550. 5.5 million Canadian dollars in revenue and 550,000 EBITDA. That's almost 10% or it is per, uh, 10%. Our order backlog is at a record high. This was the best quarter for the company ever. Um, and we're seeing our business really around the world very strong. Uh, we've had a very strong Canadian business a very strong Chinese business and our business out of Israel is, is also extremely strong. Um, and I think we can keep that momentum going on during um, the, all the part of the year. Wow, that's incredible. You've recently opened up su subsidiaries in Canada and China. Do you see waterways opening up more subsidiaries in other regions? And if so, where would those be? Yes, I do. It is our strategy. And one of the reasons that we went public and we're very successful, um, the first, the first uh, strategy we took was entering Canada by buying the assets of a Canadian irrigation distributor, um, Hartnut Grove, based south of London and Ontario. And that proved to be a winner. Um, this was a distributor of irrigation equipment um, its owner, John Paul, was very successful, but it, it had the normal problems of a small company. We came in and acquired the assets of the company, uh, put John Paul as the CEO of the company, and we saw uh, the business growing uh, from a $2 million Canadian business to $4 million last year, and we're still growing in that business this year, which brings us to a good hold foothold in the Canadian irrigation market, which is, we're still small players. It's a hundred million dollar market. We're still only four or 5% of the market and we intend to grow to, to be dominant in the market. We did the same thing in China. We had a distributor for years in China. Uh, Waterways is not a young company. It started in 2006. So we were doing uh, for four or five years business in China. <clears throat> but selling component to our uh, Chinese distributor, which was actually a, a project company. So we did the same thing. We acquired the assets. We opened a, a Chinese subsidiary. Um, it picked up very slow because, unfortunately, beginning of 2020 was COVID and, and Chinese business was seized 100%. But um, the last quarter of last year, we saw the business starting. Uh, and again, we have a very good quarter in China in the first quarter, and we see the business uh, really picking up. And we focus in China on high yielding crops. Uh, we did a business, actually we did uh, one project with Driscoll, which is the largest grower in the world of berries. It's an American company which grows uh, berries in over 21 um, um, countries around the world. And I'm confident that this business will grow. Uh, once we've established the strategy, uh, we seek to grow in other territories, i.e. in Western Canada, 
um, in the United States, in Peru, where we have we have a good we good, have a good stronghold foothold, and in other places around the world. Wow, what are your main drivers of demand for waterways in the future? Um, you know, it's very easy. Um, our Earth is warming. Uh, nobody seems to do anything about it. Trump was, a, of course, against it. But uh, but even now, um, Earth is warming. Uh, warming means there's less less water. Water is becoming scarce, which means if you want to grow crops, you know, I just read yesterday that that food is a new oil. Okay, okay. Wow. that was yesterday in, in, in an article. And um, water is getting scarce. So in order to irrigate and, and crops that crop doesn't grow without without good irrigation, you need to use smart irrigation or drip irrigation or or you need to put brains into the into irrigation. And that's where Israel comes into the field. We've been we've had an arid com- country since the day Israel was founded in 1948. And farmers in Israel and, and, and farming companies and irrigation companies has to develop, develop systems to use irrigation or water in a, in a smart way because water is very scarce in Israel. And Rich, I told you to come to Israel. If you come today uh, to Israel, Israel is extremely green. It's not mm-hmm. any more desert. And that's because water was used in a very efficient way. And, and that is why waterways is in a great position to boom because the demand to smart, of smart irrigation is growing extensively all around the world. Our biggest pro- project we did ever was a $4 million project in Uzbekistan. You know, you wouldn't think, and, and to, irrigate, to smart irrigate cotton, okay? Now this is not a smart. A cotton is, you know, it's it's a it's a medium yield um, um, crop, not like cannabis or berries or anything. But you wouldn't think that in a place like Uzbekistan, they would invest four million dollars uh, in an irrigation system, which is probably much more ex- much more expensive than than flood irrigation, um, and invest that amount uh, for a cotton be- field. And, and that's, you know, and this, this is all around the world. So it's in Canada. I mean, if you, if you drive, if you drive from, from um, London south and you see the vineyards uh, on the way to Niagara Falls, they're all drip irrigated and all by Israeli technology, period. Wow. Uh, so, I didn't know that. so, so that's, that's the world and the demand is growing and that's our, huge chance to grow in the market because um, the market, the world market for smart irrigation is anywhere between $2 billion to $3 billion a year. Um, fully dominated, 80% dominated by companies from Israel. Wow. Well, guess what? We're, we're a, you said whatever companies we, I can't name numbers because of, you know, because I, I can't give you forward looking uh, statement. We're a public company, but we're, we're a fraction of that market fraction we still have so much room to grow and become a hundred million dollar company um the opportunity is just there that's great now you mentioned this a little bit israel has become an industry hub for agricultural technology with around 400 plus agri tech startups can you tell our viewers on why that is and how waterways fits into the mix okay um why that is very easy i mean um, there's no, we need always to develop because, um, that is the only way, uh, agriculture could grow in Israel. Okay. So development is part of the system. Um, I don't know if, if you, if you know, do you like cherry tomatoes? Yes, absolutely. Cherry tomatoes were developed in Israel. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> Developed in, in the White Zone Institute. Actually, the professor who won the prize for it is, is a father of one of my best friends. Oh, wow. Uh, so, that's great. So, so that's sort of, of what we do in Israel. And of course, with, um, with um, tech companies, money just pouring now into Israel in the last two or three years, um, ag tech is, is very important. And it's a very 
important part of, of Israel, of the Israeli culture and the Israeli R&D. Um, and, and that's why, why you see, you know, there's money, there's startups, there's brains. We have two universities who excel um, in, in development of, of um, agriculture, of growing and anything around that and te drone technology, whatever you could think of, irrigation technology, uh, sensors, anything like that. Um, and that's why uh, you can see 800 startups in the field in Israel. Um, and we'll do what, what we're doing now. We will integrate um, into the waterways, both manufacturing and um, marketing capabilities, um, leading uh, technologies that are developed in Israel. Wow. So we're part of it. We're, we're seeing uh, startups. We're seeing different technologies. And we'll encompass those technologies into our sales and marketing system. Sounds great. What type of margins do you receive on your projects and what can investors expect long-term? Okay. So um, normally on a project, our margins are anywhere between 20 to 30%. Okay. Standard. Which is not, which is okay. It's not high. Um, we're seeking to improve that dramatically. We have improved. If you look at the gross Gross uh, numbers, they've improved also dramatically in Q1 uh, versus last year. And we seek, we'll seek to improve that by bringing in technology, by developing, for instance, we're now uh, putting our own control system into the irrigation system. So um, we'll have uh, more products which are developed by us uh, as we grow. We'll, ha we'll, we'll have much more efficiency in acquiring components, acquiring raw materials, um, economics of growth, and I'm sure you can see our margins improve in the coming years. Is Dataways going to create software SaaS revenues in the future? We're not 100% sure about that. Um, We've tried that, you know, I, I'm honest, you know, we've tried to bring that technology in a SaaS model uh, and we found out that it's not so easy to, Im to imply and to implement, um, you know, in, in the business of farming. Um, so we have incorporated and are incorporating that system as a control unit as a very smart control unit to the farmer in any irrigation projects that we install, especially in the cannabis sector. And there's still business SaaS business to be developed. Um, I don't think it's going to happen this year, but probably in the coming years. Super excited to learn more about this company. We're going to be putting it on our radar. We're going to be putting it on our watch list. Thank you for joining us today. Ronnie Jaggerman, Director of Waterways Technologies. Rich, so much. Thanks so much for having me. I really enjoyed our interview. Uh, and thanks for everybody who's listened to me. Always a pleasure. Now, if you're new to Waterways Technologies, put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. If you like the video, if you like the company, all you need to do is comment, smash the like, and let us know. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Here at Rich TV Live, we bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you, Ronnie. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day. Hi from Israel.